Welcome or welcome back at I Need Help at Cisco. In this example, we will find the quotient of two functions because the function can be divided like numbers. So in this case, we have f over g of x, and that means nothing else than f of x over g of x. So in our case, if you notice, f of x is the rational expression 1 over x plus 2. So we're going to have 1 over x plus 2 divided by the rational expression x over x minus 1. And this is a complex fraction, which can be handled in this format, 1 over x plus 2 divided by x over x minus 1. And now we're going to... Uh, keep the first fraction 1 over x plus 2 we're gonna change the division in multiplication and we're gonna flip the second one and be sure you don't put a plus like I did you have to have a minus because that's what it says um, and the last thing is here we multiply these two function and we get x minus 1 over x times x plus 2. This is the re result for f over g of x. On the last part, we have to look to the domain of this function. And if you take a look to these uh, results, you may say x cannot be 0, which is correct. Because if x is 0, then the whole uh, rational expression becomes undefined and x cannot be negative 2 for the same reason. But also, remember that we these results here is nothing else than the division of f over g, so g also needs to be defined. Okay? And that means x cannot be 1 also. And now we have to write this in a interval notation. I'll suggest you if you do not see it, to make a picture. And on this number line, I'm going to put 0. I'm going to put negative 2. I should have started with that. And 1. Something like that. Let's make it a little bit longer. And now, I'm going to shade uh, the side of the number line, which is part of the domain, right? So this is OK. We any number less than negative 2 works. Any number between negative 2 and 0 works. Any number between 0 and 1 works. And any number between 1 and whatever works. How we write this in the interval notation? Negative infinity, right? Uh, negative 2. Union. Of negative 2, 0. Union with 0, 1, and the last interval will be 1 infinity. This is the interval notation for x cannot be 0, negative 1, or 1 in case you need that. I'm going to check this result here using the graphing calculator, and you notice here we uh, can see vertical asymptote at negative 2 at 0 which uh, correspond to this and what's happened to x equals 1 at x equals 1 you're going to have a hole that you do not see it unless you kind of zoom in but you will see that one we have an error right here error at 0 which we, we expect and error at negative 2 okay so we can see in the graphing calculator in these two ways. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see Square for more help. Thank you.